everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today I have a special guest. Hi. This is Leah. You can introduce yourself if you want. Yeah. This I'm, I'm Leah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Leah and we met in high school. Well, we met in kindergarten. We met in kindergarten on but a bus. I moved back in middle school and we met in high school in the library over books. Yep. And so today, as you can tell by the title, we're doing a bookstore vlog. I've been talking to her about this for like a month and a half too. Like yeah. literally <laughs> such a long time, but she's been in school so we couldn't do it. So today we're finally doing it. I'm so freaking excited. Do you have books in mind that you want to get or no? No. I have one book in mind and that's because my mom got me the sequel to a book that I don't have. <laughs> so I need the first one, but if they don't have it in hardcover then I have nothing. I don't know man. I'm like... I don't know if I want to spend a lot of money, but I don't know that I want to spend a lot of money either, but I know I'm going to spend some money. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to the bookstore. I'm going to do a bookstore vlog, and when we get back, we'll do a little haul of what we got, if we got anything. Um, I'm so excited because, like I said, we've been planning this for like a month and a half, two months, so I have been anticipating making this video. Um... You ready? Sure. All right, let's go. We're back from the bookstore. I didn't really film that much because it was crazy. It was so busy and people were being so annoying, but it's the holiday season, so I'll give them a pass. But we got some books. I definitely did more damage than Leah, so go Leah. <laughs> but she also went shopping in my bedroom, so technically she has more books to show. Yep. So. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? Uh, I don't care. You can start and then I'll... We'll go back and forth. Okay. The book that I went for was The Poppy War by R.F. Kong. Um, Brady the Bibliophile talks about this one a lot. And for Christmas, I got The Dragon Republic, which I'm obviously very, very grateful for. But I can't read it until I've read the first one. And so... I wanted the hardcover edition and these books are absolutely stunning. I think this is about a girl who trains to be like an assassin and I'm pumped. It sounds absolutely incredible or at least she's training in like a military to fight for a war and so it sounds dope. It's an adult fantasy and I haven't read much adult fantasy but this one sounds good. Okay so um this is the only book I bought. Yep. And it's called Modern Fairy Tales, and it's, like, apparently it's about, like, I really don't know it's about that well. But it's about, like, these people that come from, like, New York City and, like, other uh, cities like that, and then, like, are brought into, like, the fairyland and, like, uh, different versions of, like, a bunch of different fairy tales, yeah. I guess. It's a pretty popular book on BookTube. <laughs> and that's why I don't have a book channel. There we go. That's my Holly Black. Then, because my Goodreads goal is 80 and I'm at 72 books, I'm not stressed, I got a graphic novel and I got Heavy Vinyl Ride on the Road by Ustin Bequeva and Flores Nalti. 
probably pronouncing those wrong but this is about a group of girls that work in a record shop together and books with Chloe read it and said it was really good and it's one that I've seen and debated on buying but since she said it was really good I wanted to pick it up and try it myself so I'm gonna be reading this today so I can have 73 books and not be as stressed out it's fine. This is um, An Ember in the Ashes and I read um, one chapter of it when we were in Barnes Noble because Erin made me, which... Okay, she said she was in the mood to read but didn't know what she wanted to read and when I was in that same exact mood, this is the book that I picked up and it was perfect for what I wanted. So I said, here, try this. If you like the first chapter, then I'll give you the extra set that I have from a whole nother story that's gonna take too long to explain so I'm not gonna bother but she okay, that one and the second one Torch Against the Night mm -hmm. by Saba Tahir and that's like about um you read it you go <laughs> it's about Laya who is a scholar and in this world they scholars are treated like slaves and then Elias who is a soldier and they have the power over the scholars and um Laya hates the soldiers and Elias who is a soldier doesn't exactly like what they stand for and so they're rebelling. Um, it's loosely based off of ancient Rome I believe. Hmm. Then another book that I got to quickly help my Goodreads goal, there it is, words, was Ao Haru Ride by Ayo Sakisaka probably butchering that one too but this I believe is a shoujo manga and it's about this girl who thought all boys were loud and obnoxious until she met this boy in junior high but as soon as she realized she really liked him he had already moved away because of family issues now in high school he has reappeared but is he still the same boy that she fell in love with it sounds really freaking cute and I wanted another manga series to read even though I have a ton that I haven't even started I'm I don't have a problem shut up um and then i got another book from erin this was part of her unhaul yep um i love rainbow Rowell and i've read like i think i've read attachments eleanor and park fangirl did you I, read i've read i've read two of them oh okay so read eleanor and park and, and attachments yep so now i'm getting the third one and probably we'll get more because i really like how they write so i don't know what this one's about either i didn't honestly even read can't it. remember but I asked Leah if there were any books for my on-haul that she wanted, and so those were the ones that she picked. And then this one is Never Ever, so it's like a retelling of like Peter Pan and like, yeah. That's by Sarah Sadie. By Sarah Sadie. Sorry guys, I'm really not used to it. It's alright, I am, so it's fine. So, yeah. And then the last book that I got is actually Leah's Christmas present, because she hasn't read it and it's my favorite book and I think she's gonna love it. I hope she's gonna love it. It's my favorite book. Um, and that is... A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I freaking love this book. It was really popular when it first came out. The movie was incredible. This is about a boy named Connor whose mom has terminal illness. She's dying and he doesn't really know how to deal with it and process it and so this is like just him coming to terms with everything and there's like a magical realism aspect involved and it's incredible. I cried, ugly cried, for 15 minutes after I finished the book. And I've cried while I was reading it, so. So, this is Leah's Christmas present and she's getting it now. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's everything that we got. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You guys said that you wanted another bookstore vlog. I'm sorry that I didn't film more, but hopefully in my next one, because I'm not gonna stop going to the bookstore. Um, hopefully in the next bookstore vlog, I'll be able to film more like montage stuff with like I did with the other one but hope that you guys enjoyed Leah in it it was so fun to go to Barnes and Noble and have a little book date like we used to do when she All was the home. time and so yeah it was fun I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you're all doing well reading mentally and otherwise and I really hope to see you all in my next video bye guys bye And the movie, every time, that is nasty. Like, I can't watch that with a boy.
he will not be attracted. <laughs> I'll sit there and go, I'm gonna go.